Hey everyone, as always, Dylan with GoldPaterReviews.com. And as you can see, for the first bag for Gold Palooza, I'm doing Winch Mining's original pay dirt bag. Um, the reason I decided to do this one first is because I want to work my way up. I don't ever like going down. So I'm hoping that we'll start out small with this one and hopefully all my gold returns will end up being higher and higher in each bag I do. So that's my reasoning for that. So again, this is lynchmining.com, original pay dirt. It's one pound. Um, it did weigh over a pound. I don't remember the exact amount. I took pictures, but I didn't write it down. It is over a pound though. It cost me $32.50. Um, the shipping was $7.25 by priority mail. And the total cost was $39.75. So, right now, I will say is Lynch Mining is running a summer sale. Um, it's 15 to 30% off all their pay dirt. Um, unfortunately, I had bought this a while back, and even right now, it's not on their website. It tends to be out more than it is in stock. So, it did get a discount, unfortunately. Um, and I don't know how long their summer sale will last because where I'm at, summer's kind of ending. And I'm guessing it's ending pretty soon in Arizona. I don't know if it ever ends in Arizona. But anyway, so you should check out their sale. Definitely. Um, and But all the other bags I did, did get the sales bonus. Um, all of them were 15% to 30% off depending on the bag, except for this one. So I figured I'd start with this one and hopefully not be disappointed because I didn't get that 15% off. So anyway, I'm going to go break this apart classify it down, see what kind of results I get, and then I'll be right back to show you the results. Well, finished classifying it all down, and as you can see, the majority of this is going to be in the under 30. Um, almost nothing in the plus 10, about equal amounts, I guess, in the under 10 over 20 and uh, under 20 over 30. Probably about the same amount. Um, I did see a little bit of gold in both of those. I didn't really see any in the under 30, but typically you don't see it, you know, as much as when you're panning it. So I saw absolutely no gold in the plus 10. So I guarantee you there's not going to be any gold in there. I will pan it just in case, but I'm almost positive there's no gold in there. So that was it. Um, see, if typical winch mining is very he heavy in magnetic black sands, as does this, you know, as you can see, this is, you know, if you use a magnet, it makes winch mining's painter much simpler. Um, you can really burn through this black sand, um, but I always give a heat warning. Be careful when you're just pulling out stuff out of magnet because gold will travel with it. So, you know, use a couple dump bins if you do that. Um, I don't really use that. I only use magnets for doing a final cleanup on my gold just in case something got through. You know, and usually it's just when I'm selling it. But, all right, so I'm going to be right back and start going to pan some paint dirt and start showing you some results. So, I'll be right back and we'll see what I start getting. Alright, I'm just trying to waste time here because we both already knew there was going to be no gold in the <clears throat> over 10. And since the little breaks are 5 seconds each, I kind of want to fill a little bit of time before I send you off to the next one. Alright, I wasted enough of your time. Nothing in the over 10. I'll be right back with the under 10, over 20. Well, this is more like it. Gold. Nice, shiny gold. Um, I'm guessing it's probably 40 pieces, 30 to 40, somewhere in there. I don't really count. I guesstimate, and I'm guesstimating from 30 to 40. So, I was pretty happy with it. I mean, it was fun. I had fun with it, and it was happy. The plus 10, it was fun because I knew I didn't have to do anything except for a waste 15, 20 seconds <laughs> doing the review. So... That was pretty fun and easy and 
Up next, under 20 over 30. So I'm going to go knock that out. See if I can't get some more shiny little gold in it as well. So, again, minus 10 over 20, about 30 or 40 pieces. So I'll be right back and we'll see what else we can get. More gold. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm guessing it, it looks a little bit more than the other ones. So I'm going to guess it's probably closer to 40, maybe 45-ish for my rough guesstimate. Um, and that was for the minus 10, 20 over 30. Um, again, really fun. Nice and easy. Um, some of it was magnetized still. It would have made it easier, but I just panned right through it. and It was, it was fun and exciting. Unfortunately, one of my lights blew out. One of my new LED lights blew out. So I had to spend a long time replacing it because luckily I had another one mounted inside my shed. So I had to unmount it and replace them. So it's kind of late now. So I'm not going to be able to get to the under 30 tonight. But you won't know that. It'll all be the same to you. So in a few minutes, and I guess in about a couple seconds, you'll see me again. And I'll be showing you our results from that. To me, it'll be the next day. But I guess I'm going to go and pretend like I'm panning this as far as you know. And in a few seconds, you'll see the results of that. So again, about 40, 45 nice little pieces of shiny gold. Um, make sure you can see that. All right. So I shall return with the under 30. Well, party's over. Nothing. No more gold. Um, I guess I got it all in the under 10, over 20, and the under 20, over 30. So, which, I'll show you these. Um, so, I mean, I got probably about 75 pieces of gold out of the two. You know. You know, so I was happy. I had a fun time with the that classification of pay dirt. Unfortunately, once it got down to the under 30, I did not have fun. Um, which, speaking about this, I'll bring up something that has been asked to me before. And it's about if I watch or look at my old reviews before I review something again. And I don't. And the reason behind that is because I don't want to be influenced about what I did in my last review. Um, I will look at the basics, like I'll look at the numbers and see what I did to see how much gold I recovered, how much I paid for it, and things like that. And I'll see the numbers, and I do know last time I reviewed this, um, I gave it pretty low scores for fun factor. And I'm guessing this is kind of one, why? Because I had a great time with these two pay dirts, with classifications, even the plus 10. I mean, it was fun, it was a little bit, and you know, okay, there's no gold in it, but there was really no pay dirt. So, you know, there was maybe 10 little bitty rocks in the over 10. So, you know, you knew there was not going to be any gold in there. So, it wasn't a disappointment, I should say. It wasn't fun, but it wasn't a disappointment. But when you get down and pretty much predominantly half your bag is under 30 and there's no gold in it, you know, not even like one or two little pieces just to make you say, okay, I did something. I panned all that out just to get this other little bit, you know, just to finish off the bag. As opposed to, I could have just taken that and thrown it right into, <laughs> into a bucket. You know, I didn't even need to pan it. So that's probably why I didn't have fun in the last review. Because I know that's why I didn't have fun in this one. Um, so, that, it is what it is. And what I'll do is I'm going to go weigh up all this gold. Come back with my final thoughts in the f review. As well as the Roy. So I'll be right back. All right, back, finished cleaning it up. So I'll give you a nice little shot of it right there, and that's the nice shiny gold. Recovered from lynchmining.com's original bag of pay dirt. Um, so I'm just going to get right to it and go through my final thoughts and my review for it. So break it all down. This is from lynchmining.com. It's the original pay dirt. Um, its price is $32.50. Plus seven dollars and twenty-five cents shipping, so it was a grand total of thirty-nine seventy-five. Um, 
As I said, I recovered 0 0.501 grams of gold. Um, today's gold spot is $42.90. So that gives you my number one, my Roy. Or actually, I'll tell you, about, so I recovered $21.49 worth of gold. So that makes my ROI 54.06%, which isn't that bad. I mean, it's not great, but considering the last bag I did on them, I ended up with 46%. So this one was a little bit higher. Um, not much, but a little bit. And more gold is always better than less gold, you know, in my book. So the A ROI which again is the ROI minus, uh, it's, what you do is you take the price of gold minus 18%, which is 15% for a decent seller will charge you, and then 3% or what eBay, uh, PayPal charges you, so you get 18%. So it's the gold recovered minus 18% divided by what you paid. So my A ROI on this was 44.90%, or on my scorecard on my little book, my website will end up being a 4.5. The ROI was a 5.4. So now for the fun factor, you know, it's kind of funny. I wrote up all my score on this one, and then I went back and looked at my previous video and looked at my scores on that, and you'll see how close they are. So for the fun factor, I give this one a 6.2, which is exactly what I gave it the last time I did this. It was just, you know, the plus 10, you it's you know a couple little pieces of plus 10 there's not really that much in each bag and so you know you can overlook that it's not disappointing or anything and then the under 10 over 20 was pretty good and then even the under 20 over 30 both of those are really good and fun and I had a great time with them the problem with this bag is the under 30 since this bag is predominantly under 30 and there's absolutely no gold in it, it kind of makes it un you know a big disappointment when you get those and you're like oh okay and like I said even if you found one or two or even three small little pieces it makes it going through all that just so you can say oh I didn't lose anything you know I, I got the all of it out of the bag so it's kind of disappointing um, you know I, I will say though it shows that they're very consistent at Lynch Mining since both bags I looked at both reviews were pretty identical with the amount of Pater in each one, and even the gold was pretty close to amount of gold. So, you know, I will say, you know, even though it wasn't as much fun, and I think I'm also grading them a little harshly just because I know how good of reviews I've gotten with them, some of the other bags of Lynch Mining. But again, this is one of their lower priced bags, and as anyone knows, the lower priced bags tend to not be as good as the higher priced bags. So, anyway, the fun factor was a six, which means the value for this will end up being a 5.3. My overall experience, again, was a six. Now, my last review I did with them, it was an eight. And this one was a little lower, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, pay dirt description, I'm going to give it an eight just based on the fact that they haven't, it isn't back up on their website yet. And I've got to go by the description of when I purchased it. And it was really lacking. Now, I did say, early, like in early in my reviews, that Winch Mining has updated all their descriptions since somebody hint, hint, kept telling them that they needed to get on that. You know, they had deleted them and when they updated their site and they finally got around to updating them all, but I can't go on what's not on their website. And right now, this isn't on their website, so I have to go with an eight still from when I purchased it and it was still missing at that time. Now, for the pay dirt quantity. Now, I know I told you when I first started this video that this was over a pound. But I was going through my pictures because I wanted to know the exact weight when I was going to hear. And it was actually under a pound. And I'm not going to flash up a picture or anything. you got to trust me on this. and Or you can go to my website and you'll see I have a picture of it on there. But this ended up being 14.9 ounces. So I, I'm, you know, I'm a big stickler about that. You know, where it, you sell me a pound, I want a pound. And that's including the bag, too. So for painter quantity, I'm only going to give them an 8. Pater packaging, they're getting eight because they're using the coffee bags. And I will say something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in my camera a good enough picture. But one of the reasons I really don't like Pater, these coffee bags, I just don't think you'll be able to see this. But right along here on this seam, because I always cut the bags up, and this is actually the bottom, the round part at the bottom of the bag. You know, and as you can see right here, is all kinds of dirt caught in the gold. I mean, caught in the bag on the glue. 
where the seam was. And it's made. And there's no gold in there. I looked in there with my best magnifying glass I could find, and there was no gold in there. And I will take a picture of this and put it on my blog. But it's one of the reasons why I don't like these bags. Because, I mean, I kept seeing that, and I had to tear the bag all apart to get to that. And I didn't scrape it off of there, which I normally would have, because I wanted to take a picture of it. But, you know, it's things like that that really make me dislike these bags because of that. And also, I think they break way too easily. Um, so, coffee bag, 8. Um, for customer service, I'm going to give them a 10 um, just because I have never really had any problems reaching them. And even when I use some of my anonymous email accounts that I use and randomly ask them questions, because um, they always add, they're always adding something new, which is a good thing, you know. I'll see something new on their website and I'll email them and I always use one of my anonymous accounts, anonymous accounts just to see what they say. And then once I get that answer, then I'll go hit them up with my real email and get more in depth about it and questions about it. So, and I've never really had a serious problem with, you know, anything over two or three days is about the longest I've ever waited for something. So in my own personal experience, it's a 10. Now shipping, it's dropping back down again. It's a six. I still don't like, and I would never will like, a one to seven day delay before you even ship a pay dirt. I think that's, you know, they started this, originally Lynch Mining was shipping out within 24 hours, 48 hours, and then I think they did their Black Friday sale, and then they just got clobbered, and they were getting tons and tons of complaints, and chargebacks, and all kinds of problems because they couldn't get the pay dirt out quick enough. Well... So then they switched to the one to seven days, I think, to try to catch up and give people so, you know, if new people are ordering. But the problem with that is they've never gotten rid of it. And I think it's made them a little bit com too complacent with that because I think it gives them leeway and they don't feel like they're rushed. But my number one complaint I hear from people is always that they took forever to get their pay dirt. And, you know, if you order something and you're spending your hard-earned money, you kind of want to get it quick. So, and plus, you know, if they said five to seven days, at least you would know, okay, I can plan it this way. But it's just such a big gap of one to seven days. And I've also heard a lot of people complaining that it's usually taking, you know, closer to nine to 12 days before they ship. Myself, I haven't experienced that. I think this batch of my, this bag, I don't remember how it shipped, but my last batch that my wife ordered, it actually took them, I believe, four days, maybe five days before they shipped it. So, well, it was in that goal that they set. But I'm just not a big fan of their shipping practices right now. So I'm going to give them a six. So the total score for Lynch Mining's original pay dirt is going to be a 6.7. So, which again will be one of their lower scores. I mean, it's better than the, you know, I think that's going to be the lowest score I've had for Lynch Mining so far. Um, good news is I've got a whole bunch more of their pay dirt to get that up and get me in a better mood. But like I said, this is why I wanted to start with this one first. I want to start with the ba bad ones first and work my way up to happy times. So that's going to be it for me. Um, I'm going to come back and hopefully i got some gizmos pay dirt to do. That's what I'm going to do next. Um, I should have that in a day or two. Because um, again, I'm really excited. I really want to tear into some pay dirt. Um, I, I, I sold all my gold off uh, about a month or two ago. I guess about two months ago. So I'm dying to replenish my stock to have a nice little jar. So, all right. Well, I appreciate it. And make sure you check out my site. Go and leave some comments down below. Like it. If you know anyone that likes pay dirt, tell them to subscribe below. You know. So, all right. See you tomorrow or the next day.